and we're back with a third part. So in this one then, we're going to be finishing off all of the exterior for the Chinese style house. Now for this episode then, all we are doing is just carrying on from where we left off, and we just got to finish off now and place the other two floors. So for this part then, it is going to be a lot of repeating what we've done in the previous episodes. But starting off then, as we did with a base layer, we're just going to be placing the side walls next, and then the back wall. Now for this then, we're going to be using the same design for each, and again, you just need to follow the pattern on screen now. But starting off then, we're just going to come to the left hand wall, and we're just going to extend our spruce wood row all the way so it leaves a one block space next to where our clay is. Then on top, you just need to mark out where all of your clay is going to go. And again for this, the easiest way to see how I do it is just follow what I'm doing on screen. Once you've done that, you can just extend all of the clay blocks we placed, another two more blocks up. And once you've done that, in between all of the rows, you can just place it free high again with your spruce wood planks. Next, just placing your row across the top and your buttons on the front, but making sure when you place your buttons that you want to place it on the second clay block up. Now just to add our buttons. And there you go then, that that's left hand wall done. Next though, we just need to repeat what we've done on the left hand wall, on the right and back hand wall. Now if you do get lost at any point where you're actually placing the back or right hand wall, you just need to copy what we've done on the left, but again, I'm still going to be showing you how to build it. That's the right hand wall done, now just to do the back, and as I mentioned for this, it's going to be the same design as what you did on the right and left hand wall.
That's all of the walls placed to this floor. Next though, we're just going to be placing four high of our fence posts in all of the corners. Now when you do this, you just want to make sure to place an additional fence post on the front and side of the top fence post. That's the first one added, now we just need to continue on round and do the same for the other three more corners. Then on the two blocks we extended out on all of our fence posts, we're just going to extend them all the way around and connect them up to the other fence posts. That's one side done, now for the other three. So once you've done that and before we do actually add our roof in, we're just going to add some decoration in all of the four corners. Now for this then, we're just going to be placing two spruce wood blocks and then two clay blocks on top. But between the two clay blocks, you just want to add another spruce wood block with another clay block on top. So again for this, if you do get lost, you can always refer to the image or just follow along with what I'm doing. So now that we've added that, the next thing we are going to be doing is just placing our roof. Now for this then, we're just going to start off by placing three rows of clay in total, and you want to place the outside one on top of the top row of fence posts we extended round. But once you place the outer one, you can just add an additional two more inside of this one. Once you've done that though, you should need to place 4 rows diagonal in total to the row we just added.
Next, once you've added in all of your clay rows, we just need to fill in the middle and also once you've done that, we can just start on the next floor. But when you are filling in the middle, all we're going to be doing is just placing a spruce wood row, followed by a clay row and then just filling in the rest with your spruce wood planks again. As it is going to take a little while to do though, I am going to be skipping it. That's all of our flooring added. Once you've done this though, we can just come on top. And for this floor, we're just going to be doing the same order as what we've done for the previous floors. Except this one is actually going to be slightly easier, as we don't have to place any walls for this floor. But you can just start this off by placing a border around the outside, with our fence posts to start off with. After this in all of the corners, you should need to place it four high with your fence posts. Once you've done that though, you should need to extend your fence posts out on the top block, one block in front and then one block on the side. Then on the top two fence posts we extended out on all of the corners, you can just connect them up to the other fence posts. That's that bit done, but next we just need to add some decoration in all of the corners, again using the same pattern by placing two spruce wood blocks with two clay blocks on top, and in between those a spruce wood block with another clay block on top. The last thing we've got to do then after we have actually done this, is we should need to place our roof. So to start this off then, we should need to place three rows of clay to begin with, and you want to start this off by placing the outside one on top of our fence posts, then just two more inside. Then 
That's the outside one placed it. Now for two more inside. Once you've done that though to finish off our roof and before we do fill in the middle, we're just going to place it four rows of clay diagonal to the inside row of clay we just added. The last thing we got to do then once you have actually done that, to finish off this episode and to finish off the exterior, is we just need to fill in the top section in the middle with our clay. And there you go then, that was the last thing we need to do for this part and that does finish off all of our exterior.